I'm going to spend a little bit more time on when we use significant figures, but only if you need it. If you already understand measurement versus counting, then just skip this video and move on. It's, it's a waste of your time to, uh, to watch it if you don't need it. Uh, but if you do need it, uh, I'm going to do three examples that will probably help. So let's imagine that there's someone and they like to go running. Uh, they run a bunch of times in a week and they write down each of the distances that they've traveled. You'll notice here that some of these numbers are more certain than the others. Maybe they were measured two different ways. So maybe these guys with two decimal places were measured uh, with a very certain, a very accurate and precise pedometer. You know, it's one of those little devices you put on your shoe or you clip to your belt and it counts a number of steps. So it can give you a very, very uh, precise measurement of how far you've gone. Maybe these others, they used a different tool. Maybe they used something like Google Maps, put their route in there and they got an approximate distance. So different amounts of certainty with these measurements. How far did they go? Well, we'll want to add these guys up to find out how far they went in a week. 25.85 miles. And now we want to round this correctly. Since each one of these are measurements, we're going to want to use significant figures rules. So we're going to draw this line right to the side of the number with uh, the fewest decimal places. Shows us where to round. 8, we look to the 5, which means we're going to round up. 25.9. 25.9 miles. Don't forget those units. Now, the take home message here, though, is that all of these were measurements, and so we had to round with significant figures because we always use those for measurements. Here's another example. Let's say that this person we talked about earlier is part of a running group and they all run together on the same days and they do the exact same runs. And let's say that there are 14 people in this running group and they want to find out how far uh, they all ran as a group. So we're going to do 14 people and multiply it by the distance that they've gone, that, that one of them has gone, which is 25.9 miles. Okay. When I do this math, I'm going to get 362.6 miles total for the whole group. How do I round this? I have to look at whether these numbers that I started with were measured, whether there's some degree of uncertainty in them, or whether uh, they were counted, in which case there's no uncertainty. Well, 14 people was counted which means that I'm completely certain of how many people there are. It's not like if I'd just been a little bit more careful, I would have realized there were like 14.2 people or 14.37 people. No, I counted it, there are exactly 14. So since these were counted, it means that there is an infinite number of significant figures in this part here. 25.9 miles was measured. Maybe it was measured with a pedometer, or Google Maps, or an odometer in the car, or whatever. It doesn't matter. Still, it's a measurement, which means that there is some degree of uncertainty in it. And because there's uncertainty, we're going to have to use significant figures. So one, two, three significant figures here, which means that we're going to round our final answer to the smallest number. We have infinity uh, as opposed to three. So I think we're going to have to go with three here, which means we're going to keep the three, keep the six, keep the two. I'd like to see whether we round up or keep it the same. Our final answer is going to be three, six, three miles. Once again, certain, not so certain, so we have to use uh, significant figures here around. All right? Now finally, you know, all the athletes that I know have, uh, like bikers and runners particularly, have a have these Livestrong bracelets. You know, there's these rubber bracelets that were originally yellow. Uh, now they're in a bunch of colors, but, but uh, like they're very popular with athletes. So let's use that in our example. Let's say that we have a group of people and each one of them has four of these Livestrong bracelets on them, okay? And we want to know how many total bracelets there are. So we have 34 people in this group and they each have four Livestrong bracelets. So we're going to multiply 34 by four bracelets. And I'm going to get 136 bracelets total for the group. 
How do I round this? Or even do I need to round it? Well, 34 people has been counted. There's absolutely no uncertainty as to how many people there are. So this number's counted. Infinite number of significant figures. Four bracelets, one, two, three, four. It's not 4.2, 4.4, 4.56. It's exactly four. So counted, infinite number, which means that I want to round this to an infinite number of significant figures. In other words, I don't worry about significant figures. My final answer is 136 bracelets. I'm absolutely sure there is no uncertainty with this answer here.